Hey guys, this is John here in Los Angeles, the Alpha Channel Update for Thursday, June 27th, 2024. And today we have Conan 223, 227, I'm sorry. And uh, this has got a few artists on it. It's written by Jerry Conway, Jose Delbo, Mark Texera, and I believe one other guy. I want to say Rodney Ramos, but I think he's the colorist. No, Rodney Ramos. So, three artists before colors. Uh, George Rosos is colors. So yeah, uh, three artists before you get to colors. It's a decent comic. It's not terribly written, but a lot of it is difficult to see. It's uh, colored a little more realistically. Unfortunately, the cover is a flashback. This is from the previous uh, issue which would have been 226, which I do want to get. So this is Conan in the land of the she, of the were cats, the, the she-cat Bast, or a city named Bastet. And so this guy with Conan is a member of this village, and they can turn into cats at will. <clears throat> but they have this amulet that um, keeps them from beco becoming fully feral. Uh, here we are in a flashback really quick. This is, I don't want to say this issue jumps all over the place, but it's, um, we're definitely into territory of, I don't want to say excess, but it's absurdity. It's absurdity. Some of the choices made are pretty crazy. Here's our obligatory flashback, which tells what happened in the last episode, where Conan was hired to steal the Eye of Bast from the cat people. <clears throat> it's a good excuse to draw girls becoming Black Panthers and attacking Conan, which is kind of cool. But the story itself is... Well, okay, so it, honestly, it's just a long chase Occasionally interrupted by leaping, snarling Black Panthers. I read this this morning, and uh, it um, <clears throat> didn't sink in much. The art's decent. The story keeps moving. I don't have too many complaints. I had some things I wanted this to compliment. The, uh, this character stays in bed for half the issue because he's tired or he's been wounded. Because he's been wounded and he's tired. Conan was in the same fight and he's not laying in bed. I'd like to explain what happens, but it didn't really, like I said, it didn't really sink in. I don't want to say it doesn't matter. But uh, this, char so this character who's talking from the bed for half the issue is really a bit of a degenerate. I mean, the, the werecats, I suppose they were born that way. But it's almost like a drug addiction, the way it's played off in this story. Um, here Conan goes down to the bar for a minute and of course uh, upstairs, the moment he leaves, the fellow with the eye of Bast gets attacked by the other werecats who steal the jewel. And now the rest of the novel, the rest of the issue, is Conan chasing the cats down. So we had Conan and this guy fleeing the city of Bastet, where they explain what happened a little bit. They're being chased by cats. We get to the middle of the book. The cats catch up with them when they take a break at an inn. Conan goes back upstairs, fights more cats. I mean, who am I to complain that this could have been handled better? It's not my book. I didn't write it. But this is how these books get bad reputation. Some of the art is amazing. These pages are really pretty cool. If something better happened, it'd be worth owning the originals. I did have some complaints. I do want to back up. I'm remembering some of my complaints now. Yeah, so this is a little bit of work here down at the bottom that really got lost. You see these corpses here in the foreground that could have been almost colored white uh, and they would have separated the midground from the background. Like that, little things like that. Like that's some work that the regular reader doesn't even catch, you know, um, and it's kind of too bad. Part of that probably comes from having three artists on the book and having three artists on the book probably comes from having to put a book out every uh, 30 days. 22 pages plus a cover, you know, 
there's only 20 working days in a, in a month. Four times five is 20. So that means two weekends you're doing extra pages. If you do a page a day. That's if you do a page a day. It's a lot of work. That's a lot of work. So this is amazing. This is absolutely incredible. Look at this. So here Conan does something clever. He comes riding into town. Let me back up a page because this is kind of cool. So Conan is attacking a mountain town, which is like right out of those um, Dracula movies of the 60s and 70s, the Hammer Dracula films. The only way up into the mountain town is a single road. And Conan is riding a wagon filled with hay disguised as a merchant or disguised as like just a guy. And the guards here at the gate cotton on to the fact that it's him or, or at least catch on to the fact that he's not a, uh, a merchant. And they pull out his sword and so he attacks them. And then this is awesome. He sets the cart of hay on fire and drives it right up into this little village into the uh, through the main gate and into the town. And that is just a beautiful two-page spread. The girls over here are amazing. This is just really beautiful. I like the colors, the highlights, George Russo's with the colors in this one did an amazing job. Although he like I was just saying a few minutes ago, he messed up those initial panels, you know, if that was his fault. But the art, you know, Conan is drawn really well. I can't complain about that. I don't know that I'm saying anything of real value. Um, I can't complain about the story. But what's the point? You know, I don't know that they're really demanding a whole lot from the writers at this point. The ending is very spectacular, but not realistic. Conan jumps out of a window down the side of a mountain. You know, I just, it's exhausting, kind of, in some ways. But it is what it is. I'm gonna pick up some more back issues and uh, some more of the, the first 100 this next weekend and get those sent out. And we'll review those next week. Um, <clears throat> today's Wildwood Tarot is, here's the box. This is becoming sort of rote, isn't it? I'm not really saying anything new. And I don't suppose anyone should tune in if I'm not, you know, doing Cutting age, cutting minute news. I suppose that's not really a thing. But this is the uh, Ace of Stones, the foundation of life. And if, if I hold it really close, you can see they did some nice carvings on the stone. Which is pretty clever. It's not a particularly overwhelming card. Um, the light is coming from the back of the stone, which makes it hard to see. So today, what's today? Today's n nothing special day. They've got the, the debate tonight. Um, politics, I think, is not the real problem. The problem is the anti-white sentiment and the culture war. That's the real problem. That's why Trump is such a danger to the Jews who run the world. And they do run the world, at least Western civilization, part of the world. So what do I care? Um, I want to see them destroyed. There's a song by the Misfits, Astro Zombies, that live my life to destroy your world. Yeah, yeah. I don't much have much else to say today. I've been writing. Um, I'm think, looking at probably 18 issues to get through the story that I want to tell for the, these, this comic book uh, epic that I'm working on, which I suppose could be three trade paperbacks, three compilations of six books. Um, I definitely need probably six books for the first story. Six books for the middle story and six books for the last story. I have been working on some art and I've also been working on writing. So I'm going to wait uh, to show off more art here. I don't have a lot to say. Um, I guess I'm just keeping you here for no reason. So I'm going to let you go. All right. Love you guys. I hope you're doing something fun. Bye.